All right, you've come across a problem asking you about how many days are in February or how many days are there in a certain year. And these are leap year type problems because we have to know whether the year that you're dealing with is a leap year. First of all, what is a leap year? Uh, every four years, so here's the year 2000, 2001, oops, 2002, 2003, 2004, and so on. Every four years, it's a leap year. So the year 2004 is a leap year, and then we keep going until 2008. That's a leap year. All the years in between are regular years. In this video, I'm not going to explain why we have leap years or how they come about with that scientific idea. I'm just going to show you how to solve the math problems. And so remember, every fourth year is a leap year. When it is a leap year, on a leap year, you might want to take notes on this and keep it in your binder. Leap year, we have 366 days in a year. And we have 29 days in February on a leap year. On a regular year, every other year, the other three years in between, regular years, we have 365 days in the year and we have 28 days in February. Now, how do we know if it's a leap year or not? You simply take the year, take the year and divide it by four. If there is a remainder, and I better put it as a small r, small r remainder means it's a regular year, okay? If there is no remainder, It's a leap year. No remainder leap year. That brings you up to here, okay? So remember, R means regular, remainder. R remainder, R regular. Let me get rid of all these marks on here. Hopefully you have that written down. You can always rewind the video. And let's try a problem. Let's say it's the year 1995. And they ask you how many days are in February or how many days are in the year. It doesn't matter what they ask you. You're going to do the problems exactly the same way. You're going to do 1995 divided by 4. 4 goes into 19 4 times. That's 16. Remainder 3. Bring down the 9. 4 times 9 is 36. This is how you show your work on these kinds of problems. Bring down the 5. 4 goes into 35 8 times. That's 32. And you get remainder 3. Okay, we have a remainder, so it's a regular year. So if they ask you how many days are in the year, in a regular year, you'd have 365. If they ask you how many days are in February, you'd have 28 in this year. All right, let's do one more example. Let's say they want to know in the year 2048. Is that a leap year? We have to figure out first of all, then we'll know how many days are in February, how many days are in the year. So remember, we take the year and divide it by 4. 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 4 is 20. <clears throat> Subtracting gets 0. Bring down the 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. And that's 0. Bring down the 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. There is no remainder. So we have no remainder. That means it's a special year. No remainder means bingo, it's leap year. Okay, so in that year, we would have 366 days. In February, we would have 29 days of that year. So that's how you find all about leap year. Thanks for watching.